ಕೆಲವು ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೈಮಾ ಸುಮಾರು ಮೆದು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೈಮಾ ತಿನ್ನುವಾಗ ಮಟನ್ ತಿನ್ನದು ಆನಂದ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬೈಟ್ ಇದೆ ಬೈಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಅದು ಮಸಾಲೆದು ರಸ ಅದು ಬಾಯಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಟನ್ ಖೈಮಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಟನ್ ಡ್ರೈ ನೆಸ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾರೋ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ chicken biryani so this is a biryani that they sell for 90 rupees and you get 5 pieces plus plenty of rice they've served me a small portion because i requested for a small portion i think there's also some tomato that goes into this biryani mm. ಚಾಮುಂಡೇಶ್ವರಿ ಇದೆಯಾ ಓಪನ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇದು ಜಾಗದ ಹೆಸರೇನು ಬಾಬು ರಾಯನ ಕೊಪ್ಪಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಪಟ್ಟಣ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಸರ್ ಕಿಶೋರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಕಿಶೋರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಯಾರು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಪುನೀತ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅಭಿಮಾನಿ ನೀವು ಮಟನ್ ಕುರ್ಮಾ ಮಟನ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಮಟನ್ ಮಸಾಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಕೈಮಾ ಉಂಡೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಸೂಪ್ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೋಟಿ ಗೊಜ್ಜು ಬೋಟಿ ಗೊಜ್ಜು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕದಮ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಜಿಯವರು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅರವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ನಿಮ್ ನೀವು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಜನರು ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಗೋ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ತಲೆ ಮಾಂಸ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಈಟರ್ ತಲೆ ಮಾಂಸ ಅದ ಹೆಡ್ ಮಾಟನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಕಬಾಬ್ ಚಿಕನ್ ಕಬಾಬ್ ಚಿಕನ್ ಕಬಾಬ್ ಸ್ಲೈಸ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಸ್ಲೈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಮಟನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ನೀವು ಚೀಪ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಹಾ ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಂಚ್ ಹಿಯರ್ we came here about 15 minutes ago there was nobody but now every table is taken in special idhe sir illi biryani chicken biryani chicken biryani chicken biryani mutton biryani tale ka ah illi chicken biryani jaasti popular ha chenagide fantastic so of course this place has also been blessed by the first family of kannada cinema ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಜ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಮ್ಮ ಸೊ ದೇ ಇಷ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಎಂಡೋರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ So of course he is a third generation Yuru Bandhu Bosha recent next time aitu nimge idralli bandu illi bande bandu 30 varsha 30 varsha matra samuda customers have been here for the last 50 years 
so they will tell you stories about this place that's always a wonderful thing about going to places that go back that go back in time and are rich in the experiences that have transpired within the walls and such a place is shri chamundeshwari military hotel here in babu rayana koppal just outside shri ranga patna kaima masale mate mudde kaima masale mate mudde you already decide maadidare thank you vidya ganapati rao kadam okay kadam kadam andre andre marathi stavu so andre munche kaladalli maharashtra inda alle maharashtra inda illa illa utti beledu illi utti beledu so you are the maratha warriors ah huh? so basically the family the generations go back go back to roots in maharashtra but they have settled here well we've got three of the dishes we've got the mutton dishes the chicken i guess will come later you know in places like this you tell them what you want to eat and they will serve it in the manner that they feel you should eat so ideally i would have wanted the chicken first but because the chicken also includes a kebab which i suppose they have to fry they'll probably present the chicken later but we are making a beginning with the mutton we've got the paya soup the mutton kal soup here since we have plenty of meat otherwise as well so i said just give me the soup and that's what i have here the broth and staying with the mutton theme we have the mutton keema which is basically the khaima unde and then we also have a mutton dry so it's mutton cooked twice so they take the pieces from the mutton and then they dry fry it in some oil some chili powder some onions etc and that's what makes it a dry and we also have a chapati here i think we'll make a beginning though with that kal soup plenty of coriander in that coriander stalks as well pepper the pepper in that kal soup so i think what's interesting here is there's plenty of the coriander stalks too so that serves to give that paya a certain herbaceous zing you know sometimes paya especially if you're not a hardcore meat eater can perhaps be a little gamey but when you have things like coriander etc that go into it that helps offset some of that gaminess some of those animal loads that some people may find a little intimidating this is a paya that has plenty of pepper some lemon would basically round off the flavors nicely ah so body body good hai there ha body ah aur ila I think I'm next I'm going to go for a little bit of the mudde and dip it in that mutton khaima masala gravy Mudde aage ve ning beko I must admit that eating a mudde is, is not what comes naturally to me It's a pamlet piece local pamlet piece Ah local andre katla ha katla Ah so basically this is a fish that they call the pomfret but it's actually the katla or some sort of tank fish ಇದೇನು ಸರ್ ಲಾಲಿಪಾಪ್ ಇದು ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪೀಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಐದು ಪೀಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಐದು ಪೀಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ನಂಗೆ ವಾಸ್ಪುರ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೂರು ಪೀಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಿಶ್ ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಒಂದು ಫಿಶ್ ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಬೋಟಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೈಮಾ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫ್ರೈ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಹದಿನೈದು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮುದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಬಂದು ಒಂದು ಕರಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೈ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಮುದ್ದೆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆರಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಜಾ ಮಾಡಿ ತಿನ್ಬೋದು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಲೋಕಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಒಂದು ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಓ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನೈಂಟಿ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಮಟನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಬರೀ ನೈಂಟಿ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪೀಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ರುಪೀಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ತಿನ್ಬೋದು ಅಷ್ಟು ರೈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು Mm. I love the coriander the warmth in that khaima masala so mutton fry too solba boti kuda tokolana chicken masala ideno broiler ah broiler maamuli koli solba skin irutte ra skin irutte skin nalli flavor ide ala skin nalli solba flavor ide solba charbi kuda ide matra flavor charbi ottige varodu hoda hoda flavor is there in the fat flavor is not there in the meat most of the flavor is always there in the fat I think we'll make a beginning with that mutton khaima masala. Mm. You're tasting more or less the flavor of the meat. You're biting into the texture of the meat here. I think the binding that is there in terms of the egg helps minimize the role of the gram flour. So out here they put a bit of the cuddle head too but very little. Other taste bhai ke kuda barta illa. There's a bit of the grittiness though I taste in that keema. 
and i think sometimes in places like these you got to overlook those aspects what's really hitting me is the flavor of the coriander in that keema mm i'm definitely enjoying that gravy sir it's a mutton biryani mutton biryani this keema isn't the softest of keema that you will taste chicken biryani taste martira sir un kelsa maadi idu matte red biryani sulpa amale tanna tanna ge agutte sir ella i send the biryani back i said let me taste this before i get to that because otherwise the food will tend to cool down mm i love the bite of that keema let's taste with some of the chapati the chapati is gotten a bit hard now it was hot when it came to my table chapati hard is sir solpa agide hard so no soft sick boda he noticed that i felt the chapati was hard he immediately came up to me and said can i give you a soft chapati i think that's a nice thing in places like these that are family run they constantly looking at what their customers are appreciating or not and they instantly take action and also my request to viewers is when you go somewhere and you don't have so great an experience speak to the people right then and there and try to see if they can fix it for you most eateries most establishments will want to do that in my opinion it's best for you to bring up any shortcomings to the people in that eatery as opposed to let's say going online and posting so sure, you may want to do that and you can do that and it's your right to do that but the online community is in no position to fix whatever was wrong with your meal but the people at the eatery are the ones who are in the best position to rectify shortcomings if any mm. i love the kaima unde very nice i can also bite into a bit of the cartilage in between the meat i think next let's taste that boti the masala is a little deeper i'm sure there's plenty more of the masala plenty more of the spicing plenty more of the coriander pepper etc that's gone into this because after all it's boti and boti is very strong in its animal notes in its animal flavors so if you want to mask that you need plenty of the masala that goes in so for example in this khaima gravy i think the gravy is dominated more by the herbs by the herbaceous flavor notes of the coriander some mint and the spices etc but out here idhale sumar masale the boti ali red chili powder coriander powder jeerige मटन दिकन ऑलवेज फॉलो and that's what's happening in this case as well so i think what i should do is now taste some of the chicken with that skin with some of the charma also get some of the masala there mm. that chicken skin that charma does make a difference in terms of adding some of its flavors mm. i think let's let's taste some of that chicken kebab This chicken kebab has been fried fresh. I saw it marinated and sitting in that casserole. I'm sure there's some coloring that goes in to give it that vivid red color. It's crunchy around the edges and quite moist and juicy within. I can hear happy burps around me. So you know that people are enjoying their meal here. For me the best part of the chicken kebab is the part on the outside that has crisped and yet has a bit of softness within next we'll taste some of the fish here this is the fish fry that they call a pomfret but it's a local a lake fish that's a chunky slice of fish crisp on the outside and rather moist within and it has a unique slightly earthy flavor that you typically find in most lake fish or fish that is caught from a tank what i'm definitely going to go back for is some more of that keema to me the winner of a dish here is certainly the keema either with the mudde or with some chapati or some white rice delicious what i like most is the bite of that keema so it's not soft in the least In fact, it's quite firm and quite springy to the bite. But the bite, Martha, Martha, it releases the flavors of the masala in that gravy. Let's now get to that mutton dry. Hmm, 
And I think what happens is when you cook the meat twice, first in that curry and also in that oil, along with some uh, red chilli powder, perhaps some coriander powder, cumin powder, some onions, etc. I think the flavors in that masala intensifies, and also the flavor of the meat intensifies, which is what you're tasting. Mm. So my top picks of the things that I've tasted thus far is definitely the keema masala, the mutton dry, and also the boti is fairly nice. If boti is your thing, then you should definitely try the boti as well. The nisbi also has the marrow waiting to be extracted. Well, what's interesting is that the biryanis that we've ordered, this is the chicken biryani, that's the mutton biryani. And both of them look very different. And they say that the masala that they use is very different. So for example, in this, it's mostly dominated by the red chili powder and also the turmeric. Whereas in the mutton biryani, it's the hasi masala as they call it, basically, which is the mint, the coriander, and some green chilies that go into it. Of course, there's also the spicing that goes in initially to flavor the oil, and then they add the onions, etc. But the principal flavors, I think in this mutton biryani draws in addition to the aromats from the green masala and in this case from the red chilli powder. So I'm going to make a beginning with that chicken biryani. So this is a biryani that they sell for 90 rupees and you get 5 pieces plus plenty of rice. They've served me a small portion because I requested for a small portion. I think there's also some tomato that goes into this biryani. On the nose, you're certainly getting the aroma of some of the spices that would have gone to flavor the oil. Whether it's the bay leaf, the cinnamon, the cloves, and some of the other spices that go in. I can also feel the warmth of that red chilli powder on my tongue. So this isn't a rice where the grains will be separate, where the grains will be fluffy, etc. The chicken biryani isn't one that will knock your socks off but makes for a tasty Oh, first Nimdo, Amele Bakir Bandur. So apparently they were the ones who began the eatery first in Baburaya and Kopal way back in 1960. So he says, there's a board nally mistake, board nally 67. 60 le bande de. But tasty. Tasty food. Nimde sir and sir? Baskar. So I've learned from the gentleman here that he's been coming here for a long time and he says the reason why we come here is because tasty food and maned maritara. Meaning it's like the sort of food that you would prepare at home if you had the kind of lineage that the family behind this place has. Mutton biryani. I'm definitely tasting the mint in that biryani masala. This biryani is just spicy. Biryani is mild. Oh, sir. This is a little bit of 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 a little Correct. In Chennai, we have Kaima. In Kelo Jagali, Kaima is soft. In the soft. In the Kaima, we have mutton and mutton. It's a bite. 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 So when you come here, this mutton Kaima is a must, must have. And also the mutton fry. I think all the mutton dishes that I've tasted so far, I've really enjoyed. Including that boti as well, although I'm not much of a boti person. Biryani is raita. The meat in this biryani, at least this piece, is a sort that you need to wrestle with a bit to pry the flesh from the bone. So if you want to complete your meal with some rice, you could do the biryani. But if I were to visit here the next time, I would definitely be tasting that keema unde, that khaima masala as they call it, that mutton dry, if you're a boti person, that mutton goju with some plain steamed rice.
नमस्कार इधर हिरीयर ओके सैज एलडर ऑफ दिस प्लेस नमस्कार सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू साम रसम टू फिनिश आ मील सो नहीं दारी ट्रवेल गोयिंग फ्रम बूर टू मैसूर और मैसूर टू बंगलूर यहाँ वेदर इट्स ब्रेक्फास्ट लंच डर काफी को नो काफी बट वेदर इट्स ब्रेक्फास्ट लंच और डर एंड इफ यू फैंसी सम मीटी सस्टेन especially some mutton sustenance definitely stop by here at shri chamundeshwari military hotel here in babu rayana koppal babu rayana koppal let meet the family behind it third generation it was his grandmother who began this i hope you enjoyed this short and sweet meaty highway treat i'm going to go back for some more of that khaima until the next time take care stay safe stay strong happy eating सो नहीं इली बंद श्री चामुंडेश्वरी मिलिट्री होटेल के इली बीड़ा तुम होंगे इवर कई बीड़ा काल भैरवेश्वर बीड़ा स्टाल जनरल स्टोर प्रोपरेटर राजेंद्र राव काल भैरेश्वर बीड़ा स्टोर जनरल विथ जनरल स्टोर प्रोपरेटर राजेंद्र राव प्रोपरेटर राजेंद्र राव बीड़ा तीन योर हस्बैंड नेम फैंटास्टिक थैंक यू वेरी मच मा थैंक यू Mm. Thank you ma'am. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you sir. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.